It's Wonderlist. Um, so, so let's see. I want to make a new list, and uh, or a new to-do list, I should say. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this little plus sign here, add my list. I shall call it a new list. Um, and I'll press enter. OK. So on this new list, I want to add a few things to do, stuff to do. So stuff to do. And I'm not going to give it a time limit or, you know, a certain day that I want to do it by. And there you go, stuff to do. And let's say I will have stuff to do today. Then I will type in stuff to do. I will choose my date by clicking. And let's say I want to do it today. And you see that we have it today. Let's say I have stuff to do tomorrow. I'll choose my date. And you see that it again labels it as tomorrow. Bam. And stuff to do next week. Oh, I can just take that off. Because we have a handy dandy calendar. And press enter. So I have four things to do. And uh, that gives us the date, this being no, you know, no certain day, this being today, that tomorrow, and this next week. OK, so we've got our list here, uh, our new list. And I wanted to go through these buttons on the bottom here. Uh, all shows you everything that you needed to do including your stuff to do, as well as uh, stuff from your other lists. Um, and we didn't have any important tasks, so why don't I show how that works. So here, you can start, and it'll prioritize it. So the no deadline thing to do is now important. So we're going to go down to the start, and you'll see that stuff to do is important. We'll show done stuff, and that's by checking those um, check boxes, and that just lets you know what you've accomplished. Today, we have stuff to do. And as you remember, we put something for today. And so that's our task for today. Tomorrow, we have more stuff to do. And in the next seven days, we have even more stuff to do. Um, and that includes today and tomorrow, because that is included in the next seven days. Later. We have stuff to do. And without a date, we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we'll go back to our list. OK, so let's uh, talk about these icons up here. We've got Share with Cloud App, Send by Email, Print Tasks, and Share this list. So uh, I won't share this list, but what it does is essentially you can invite your friends via email, um, and they can join the list or, you know, join the a capability of editing and all that. Um, print tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what happens is it brings up the list. Let me show this here. It'll show the new list. It'll show the stuff to do. And then you can print it. So if you actually want to, you know, take it somewhere in hard copy, then you can do that. OK. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And so that's the print tasks. If, however, you want to send it by email, go ahead and I'll go ahead and click that. And what happens is it opens up, well, in this, in Windows, it'll open up Outlook Express unless you've uh, changed it some, to something else. And it gives the list, and then you can send it to whomever, and there you go. A to do list for them. And then share with Cloud App. This asks if you want to publish your tasks. And let's just say, yes, I want to publish that I have stuff to do. So I say yes, and there's a link here. I'm going ahead and copy that link. And we'll open a browser here. Let's do paste. And it says, OK, you got a list. Let's download this list. And Shazam, you got a list. And you can print it, you can check it off, you can throw it away, you do whatever you want. OK, so we have this list link. 
And the way to get rid of it um, is just to go to your to inbox, just click it, and there you go, gone. Um, so I'm gonna deselect this because it's not that special. <laughs> uh, but if you're done with it, you check it, and there you go. On your list, it'll show you what you've gotten done. But if you actually did not get it done, you can always click it again, and it'll uncheck that. And I'll just shift this back up to the top. Now the neat thing about this is that if you would like this stuff to do from, say, tomorrow, to be in a different list, uh, it's very easy to drag and drop that. So I'll create another list, and I'll say, call it new list two. Okay, and I'll go take tomorrow's stuff to do, and I'll bring it to the new list. And now you go. Stuff to do for tomorrow. And the cool thing, the super cool thing, I think, is that you can change the background. So we go black. And I like the pretty ones. So that's why I chose my good old green. And if you would like to see the whole picture, you can toggle the sidebar. So like this, he says hi. <laughs> <laughs> peek -a Okay, so that is it. That is uh, a quick demonstration of what you can do with this. Um, and you can actually even do it in like a whole bunch of languages. And I tried Spanish and it worked. You know, everything looked like it was in Spanish. So, yep. Yay for Wonderlist. All right, with a little time traveling, here we are over on my computer while she's filling out the list. And um, as she does so, my computer will automatically synchronize the list displayed here with the changes that she's making over there while she records her half of this demo. There you go. Now her list that she created for you guys have showed up in my list. And I see that there is indeed stuff to do today. It also shows up down here, highlighted again. And uh, that feature makes it extremely useful for us as we produce our videos. It allows us to uh, synchronize what we're doing and keep track of everything that we need to do in a day. And now that I've gotten this nice little to-do list synced up with uh, Addie's, um, say I don't want to do stuff today. I can come into here and create a note. No. You do this stuff. Or else. Okay. All right, I'll do it. Don't hurt me, sweetie. And then you just save it, and uh, her list will synchronize, and she'll see that there's a note on this. Now, if I click on it, I can open up the note again, and it's all there. <laughs> 